god! <laughs> oh, this is scary. Safety first. All right, so I'm about to fail this here oak, and I want to show you my whole process here. Last time, as you guys know, if you're a regular subscriber, it didn't go so well. So this time I'm going to take my time. I'm going to plan it out and everything, see how it goes. Uh, first off, we're going to tell you the why. So we got a little white oak there, a medium, small medium, red oak there and then a small medium red oak here this one is perfectly straight and i'd love to be able to keep it this one here you can't really tell much but it's crooked it's not a very nice tree and this one's perfect uh leans a little bit there you can see it but it's coming off on camera way more than it is it's a pretty straight up and down tree. But the reason I've got to get rid of it is because my septic line goes right here, turns the corner, and goes pretty much straight right there, you know? And I saw it whenever they dug the ditch for this. It might even be closer. It might be like right here. Whenever they dug the ditch for this tree, you could see they cut right through the root system cut it right in half bam big roots and everything and so we've got two options either this tree is going to die on its own which it, it's been about four years now so i don't think it's going to or the other option is that it is going to eventually completely bury itself inside this root system and i'll have to redo the septic system so whatever's going to happen this tree has to come down I figured it would have already died, but it, it hasn't. So it does have a little bit of a lean to it. And um, I definitely want to miss this little white oak. You know, I want to miss that. And I don't think that it's gonna come close to that cherry, which even if it did, I don't care. It's an ugly tree. It's a three dom, I think is what you call it. Triple dom. It's terrible, I hate those cherry trees. But I'm gonna, use a, um, a hydraulic jack and uh, show you how that I'm going to plan this out. So enough talky talk, let's get to it. And I, we're going to see how it works. Okay, so I got this tie strap on there because I want to make at least a reference mark for me. Um, you guys know I'm new to this. So I'm coming up with anything that I can to try and help me. So I got it to a height that I am comfortable with. Now, see how that looks. I've never done this. I've never heard of anybody doing this. <laughs> I don't, I just, it came up with it in my own crazy brain and thought, you know, this might help me out. There's a nice line for me. If you notice, I don't know if it comes off on camera, but I have it tilted upwards this way, just a hair. And that's because I'm gonna be putting the jack back on this side. And you want that angle to be like this so that the jack is less likely to pop out. I'm not gonna pay $3,000 for a proper forestry approved uh, hydraulic jack. Um, so anyways, so next up, we got to cut the spot for the jack first. Now, before I do that, I'm going to really study this. My cuts, uh, yeah. So on the front side, this is where I'll cut my wedge out. 
I want to be on the bottom line. See how there's two? I want to be on the bottom line. And on this side, I want to be on the top line. So I'm going to make my cuts up there and then cut out the jack. I got this at Home Depot. And we're just going to try and eyeball it. Make fun of me all you want. I get it. Oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Knows just enough to get himself killed. Whatever. Fuck y'all. Echo 4310SX. I'll be using this just for the little stuff. golden right there all right so now now I'm going to take the John's red I'm going to cut further get my bar in there a little bit stuck some wedges in there get the, some pressure on this jack I don't know what I'm doing 
we're gonna try get this done <laughs> I know I'm supposed to have a metal plate there. I just can't see this tree needing that much pressure. And hopefully I'll be able to get in there with wedges at the same time. All right, let's back you up. Slow and steady, take it easy, got all the time in the world. <laughs> Okay, I know my wife just said it might spin because I'm not near far enough on this side. It's going to barber chair. Just got to get it moving. Tell me if it's moving, Irene. Oh. 
we barely got any holding wood on this side got a ton on the other side so i know that's probably going to make it want to change the directions oh i hear it cracking this thing's going to barber chair it's going to be nasty Come on, come on, girl. Oh, geez. I got way too much hinge wood on the other side. This is dangerous. It's still creaking and cracking. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at that horrible, horrible hinge. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Terrible. But, you know, it's down. Ain't nobody hurt. Good to go. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Look at that. They're always bigger. They're always bigger whenever you're up underneath there cutting on it. I'm telling you, it's scary. But we got it. <sighs> all right. Yeah, I missed the oak completely. I didn't see it touch this at all, did it? No, it wasn't. It was because of all this hinge wood. Look at this. It, 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 so, let me show the viewers here. Oh. Invigorating. You want to get an adrenaline rush, rush, cut down a tree, and have little to no experience doing it. <laughs> so, see what I mean? So I got it set up here. This is the direction I wanted it to fall. That's where I wanted it to fall, right there. And uh, so my hinge was good, or I'm sorry, my, my wedge was good. My hinge height right here was good. So I set it, I, 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 I cut to there, and then I come in and I cut this wedge, right? But I started my wedge right here. I dug my dog in and I went and got it. That's where I wanted it to fall. Bam. So then whenever I came over here and I started, I started cutting, I'm cutting like this to meet up to my wedge. All right. For one, you see the huge height difference there. That's terrible. That's terrible. But that's consistent of me. I'm, at least I'm consistently bad. Um, but I'm going here and I, you know, it's just, just me. I'm too scared. If I had kept going with it and, and juiced it a little bit to get it up to this point, you know, it would have been a lot smoother. But I was scared. That's it. I'm scared. And, uh, you know, better be scared and stay alive than be ignorantly brave and hang in there and the thing fall on you. So now we're gonna go ahead and start limbing this guy up with the 4310. And then we will block it all up and everything for firewood. Oh, Lord. That's an event. I'll save the blocking up and stuff for a different video though. <laughs>